Edward would have would have met the back back of my hand. Edward would have met the back of my hand. Cause I'm like, baby, <laughs> he sounds like a sexy geek to me. If you know what I'm saying, the man sounds fine. Like we can't allow what other people have done to us to stop us from healing and to stop us from growing. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel for another video. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -da -ba. I gotta find somebody to make that beat for me. Okay, y'all, so we're doing a reading vlog today. And y'all know reading vlogs, I like to keep it very cozy and comfy <laughs> and raw and authentic. <laughs> so, yes, y'all, we are reading this book today. I'm praying I could just have it done today. Uh, I'm in the middle of reading two other books, but they kind of are slowing me down a little bit so i'm gonna just go ahead and read this one because everybody says i like it and i think i really think that this is gonna be sorry i'm trying to hold my breast assist <laughs> i really think that this is gonna be a, five, a six star read for me only because everything that everybody says about it it sounds like soledad is like literally on the same journey that i am this is this could be us by kennedy ryan and it is Soledad's story. So the first book in this, I guess, series is Before I Let Go. And that is about, I want to say Yasmin and Josiah. Is that their names? I don't know if I'm wrong. Let me know. But I rated that book a five star. That was definitely, it was it was kind of triggering for me. Well, it was actually very triggering for me. But I still rated it very, very high because it was such a good book. So yeah, we're going to try to get through this book today. It is, let's see how many pages. Oh, 380 pages. Y'all, I can eat this up. I can eat this up. <laughs> We're going to eat this up. What time is it? Do I got my phone? I do have my phone. Y'all, I really can't let y'all see my room because it's still a hot mess. I'm not done painting. I ran out of paint, y'all. It's 1022. Y'all see my man? Mm. He'll be home soon. He'll be home soon. <laughs> ah! He'll be home soon. But, okay, guys. I guess they're going to start reading. And y'all know me. I'm going to check back in with the commentary. And this will be spoiler free. It will be spoiler free. Do y'all want me to read the back of the book for y'all? Should we read the back of the book or should we blind read it? Mm, we're going to blind read it. I haven't read the back of the book. I'm just going for everything that everybody tells me that I might like it in the reviews that I've seen about it. Like my friend Bethany over on Bethany Noel Reads on Instagram. And Bethany Noel, I want to say the Bethany Noel reads on here too, or just Bethany Noel. I don't know, whatever it is, it'll be linked over here somewhere. Child. I have a picture of it, so you can go follow her. She was talking about it, and she was she was saying it was like really good. So I can't wait to read it. So let me stop talking, y'all. Like Sean C said in my last video, I just I really enjoy talking. <laughs> I really like it. So I do not have this on Kindle. So we're 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 going to fix a copy today. <laughs> Cheating on Kendall. She's right behind y'all. And look at me still talking. Okay, let's go read. <laughs> So I'm back real quick. Edward's a jerk. I'm only like 20 pages in and Edward is a freaking jerk. Like, wow, who talks to their wife like that? Who says cruel things like their, to the wife like that? Like he got me all types of trigger. I had to pause the book for a minute. He got me all types of mad. Like Edward, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Ooh, we, when he said that, I probably wouldn't, child. Child, I tell you what. Edward would have would have met the back back of my hand. Edward would have met the back of my hand. This is just the beginning of the book. Woo, y'all! I'm about to keep reading. I'm about to keep reading. I'm over here in this corner because I can't let y'all see my room. I'm sorry, I gotta wait for the big reveal. You just you can't see nothing yet. But guys, Edward is not. We don't like him. We don't like him.
trying to bring y'all closer. Y'all can't see nothing. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm on page 62. No, 63. And Judah. Judah Cross. Mm -hmm. Judah Cross is that guy. Judah Cross is that guy. Judah is... You can already tell that he's just a man's man. You could tell. Like when they say he was a geek because he counted numbers. I'm like, baby, <laughs> he sounds like a sexy geek to me. If you know what I'm saying, the man sounds fine. He sounds so fine, I think I want to make a mine. But I don't know, he might become solo dads, but we don't know. We don't know. But the tension is there. We liking, we're liking Judah. We're liking Judah. Edward just, oof. Edward irks my soul. Edward probably irks everyone's soul. Oh my God, the book is good. I already like this book better than um, Before I Let Go. I already like it better. And I'm not even on page 100 yet. I'll probably check back guys when I get to page 100. Because that's when we'll really know if I like it. Okay, I'll be back. So we're switching it up. It's the next day. I didn't finish. I'm almost done with the book though because my boys ended up going with their dad. So I had to do some momish things because they chaffed. They was cutting up. They was not letting me read. They kept interrupting me. I'm almost done though. Like I'm on page 309. And so far, I really like the book, y'all. Like I I really like the book. I don't know what I would rate it yet. I don't know. Um, Soledad is low key getting on my nerves a little bit because I feel like she's just girl. Like I, I feel like she's so caught up on, like, but that's probably just her trauma. She's so caught up on wanting to make sure she's not relying on anyone that she might miss out on something, and that could just be her trauma, like you know, of what she just experienced in her relationship. So, I mean, I get it because my life was the exact same way. I had to unlearn a lot of learned behaviors and a lot of the ways I was thinking too. I heard this quote, what did she say? She was talking about forgiving narcissists, this lady I was listening to, and she was like how she would never forgive them. She said, because they changed a part of me that I will never get back. And then sometimes they make you forget who you even were. I mean, I, I'm big on forgiveness before myself, so that way I can move on. But sometimes we allow the actions of others to hinder us in so many different areas of our lives. Like we can't allow what other people have done to us to stop us from healing and to stop us from growing. And I feel like I struggled with that for a little bit. This this book, y'all know books really resonate with me. Like when it like lines up with my life too. That's how that's how my rating system works. If the book, if I can relate to it and it sounds like something that I've actually been through, then I probably will really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm I'm really liking it. I'm liking her journey. I'm liking what Kennedy Ryan is teaching us all. Like the first thing you got to do is take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody. Before you're a mom, before you're a wife, like you need to take care of you. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize that even like as Christians, because that's the one thing the Lord taught me. Like when I rededicated my life last year to Christ, uh, the Lord taught me how to love me. So by loving him. And through me loving him, I was able to love other people the way that he asked me to love them. And so, yeah, but we're going to go in here. I'm about to go get me a... I think they said they sell protein shakes, y'all. We got this coffee shop in town. And I, I, I've i hosted, like, baby showers and stuff in there because it's actually really, really nice. Uh, but I've never went and bought, like, anything out of there. So this will be the first time for the both of us. And I was actually not feeling well today. Auntie Flo hit me. But I told myself I'm not going to allow myself to stop doing things just because I don't emotionally feel like it. Because sometimes I can allow what I'm feeling to like completely take me over. And I will I feel like you should definitely feel what you feel and process it, but not let it control you so much to where you stay in bed all day. And that was me. 
I will allow these strong feelings to keep me hindered. And I just don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to allow what I feel to stop me from doing what I want to do. Because one, that's how fear, fear, how you feel can stop you from going somewhere. Or feeling of being nervous can stop you from, you know, this. And I could run into somebody that could change my life. But I allowed fear or whatever to keep me at home. So, yeah, I'm, I'm done allowing things that are... Okay, so like say me and my auntie got in a fight. We didn't. But say we got into a fight. So I would have let that fight ruin the rest of my day is what I'm trying to say. So I'm done allowing situations like that or, or outside things that shouldn't really change my day, change my day. So yes, if we got into a fight, that was a bad moment. But I'm not going to let it impact the rest of my day. I don't have to and I'm choosing not to so that's how I'm feeling I may have woke up a little sad but I'm not going to allow that feeling of me being sad this morning to depict how my day is going to go I'm not going to say I'm going to have a sad day just because I woke up feeling a little sad no I'm going to get up I'm going to move my body I'm going to get a little sun I'm going to go out I'm going to do things that's going to make me feel better I guess that's kind of low-key this book is heavy on that do things, step outside your comfort zone, do things that scare you. Y'all know that's what we're doing all year. New year, new things. And I'm going into a bookshop, I mean, a, a, a coffee shop. I don't drink coffee, y'all know that. But that's, they say they have protein uh, shakes or something. Hopefully, hopefully I'll find something in there that I actually like and want to drink. And I'm going to read for a little bit. Let's see, I might try to see if I can get this book done. And then have this up for y'all tomorrow. And then later on, Serenity and I are going book shopping. We're going to the bookstore. I don't know if Sister Christy is at work or not, so I know we're hitting that up later. But that's going to be the next vlog, y'all. This is just about Soledad. So let's go on in here. Which I really appreciate because they talk about autism a lot in this book. His two boys are autistic and I also think he is as well. He even touched on that how he thought he was but he is definitely obsessed with Soledad. It's slightly unhealthy. <laughs> definitely unhinged. Y'all this smoothie is fire. I'm about to keep reading for a little bit then I gotta go pick up Serena. So I'm still not done with the book. I'm about to go lay in my bed, wash my face, and finish this book, okay? I put I was putting my niece's makeup in the car. I think it's funny. I really need to take my hair down, y'all. It's bad. Cause I got individuals up here in crochet in the back and it's growing out so much that they fall in. And you can tell. You can tell. But okay guys, let's wash our face, put on some, some pajamas. Get comfortable.
Okay, guys, I just finished the book. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure about my rating yet. I don't know. I have to I have to sit on it for a couple days before I decide what I'm rating it. I, um, it's up there, though. But I, I really liked it. I really loved it. I love the message. And y'all know I love a good book that is about character growth and just becoming better. And her story, her story is so similar to mine, which is like creepy. But um, yes, you got to first love yourself before you can fully pour into other people. And I 100% believe that. I do not think that you can pour into people without one resenting them or becoming like extremely exhausted if you don't first pour into yourself and i love that message this was, it was a really good book it was a really good book i'm 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 sad that it's over but i'm excited hendrix i'm ready for hendrix story she said look for hendrix story in spring 2025 so we got about it next year hopefully she goes on tour again and i get to go the boys are home they ended up not wanting to Stay at their dad's tonight, so y'all can say hi. Hi. Keep the you can they can't see you got come over here, but keep the cover over you because you got my shirt on. Hi guys, I just got back from basketball. Well, I got back from basketball camp a couple hours ago, and these people they did not pass to me. I had, they didn't. No, I they didn't even pass the ball to me offensively. I had to get the ball defensively with two steals for Ooh, quarter. Ooh, that boy had two steals. That's what's up. His dad signed him up for a basketball camp. Some NBA player child was doing a basketball camp, and he went. Um, Bo, Bo was there, too. Well, what was I about to say? But, yes, you see they are home, so I got one day off. One day. But, okay, guys, I guess this is the end of the vlog. I'm about to go put on a... A moo moo. A kimu. A moo. Stopping in the narrow. What? Timu drip. What? He's trying to say Timu. As you see, they both in my bed. A, a kimu. No. I both don't. said he wants a pet leopard. We're not getting a leopard. That's. I think that's illegal. I'm going to tackle him. Tackle who? The leopard. Okay. Good morning, guys. So, I am just waking up. I had to sleep on it. I really did. I'm sitting in the corner in the room, child. I had to sleep on it because I really still don't know what I want to rate the book. I know it's a five star. But I'm like, I'm leaning more towards like 5.5. .5. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm leaning very much so towards 5.5. .5. And that's because I related so much with Soledad. And I am literally, actively living through my fears. Y'all literally see it. <laughs> I literally do it. Anytime I come to the screen or anytime I come in front of this camera, I'm literally actively living through it. And the similarities in which how we both want to provide means for our children. And yeah, the book really hit home and it actually let me know that everything that I'm feeling right now in this season of my life is normal um how I'm processing everything and kind of like being a little nervous like I am very nervous and I am very scared to fail my children because yes their dad he pays his child support like he does he does he does what he's technically supposed to do on paper but I feel like when it comes to like emotional support or anything like that, all of that falls on me. And even sometimes like when the boys might need something that is outside of child support, that falls on me, you know. So, yeah, and I feel like making sure I'm prioritizing myself and taking care of myself as a mother is a huge part of my life right now very 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 huge like even sometimes like i know i remember i forget who was over here i think it was one of my aunts or something and i was just having a really rough day and gabe and bo were just like and i said they came up to do something and i said boys mommy does not have the emotional capacity right now to do that so if you could please give me like five ten minutes and then maybe we can we can circle back around and one of my aunts she low-key like kind of looked at me like i was crazy like she was shocked that i had told my kids 
you know, like I didn't have the emotional capacity, but I didn't. At the time, I did not have the emotional capacity to give them. So instead of me being rude, I was honest with my children because one, that's what I want to teach them. If you do not have the emotional capacity for something, don't do it. It's that simple. It is that simple. And I want to teach them that it's okay to choose you. It's okay to choose your mental health. It's okay to just take care of yourself. That is not a bad thing. I feel like we were taught. I know I was taught to sacrifice myself and my happiness, but I'm not doing that anymore. No I don't do that anymore. So, yeah, no, people can call me mean. They can call me whatever they want. But one thing I'm going to do is protect myself. I don't have a choice. I, I literally don't have a choice because at the end of the day, you are going to be responsible for you. No one is going to ever love you more than you can love yourself, you know, outside of God. So you better just do that. You better take care of yourself. Like, and it was a quote in the book. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it was near the end. I should have annotated it. Um, It was right before one of Soledad's chapters at the end. Or was it at the very end? Hold on. And it just touched me. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was so beautiful. Let me see if I can find it. I don't think it was this far back. I see if it was at the very, very end. But it was a quote that I, it was, I know, I feel like it was definitely before the prologue. I mean, the epilogue. Sorry if I look crusty, y'all. I literally just woke up. But I'm determined to. Ha! Here it is. It's at the beginning of the epilogue and it says, I fall in love with myself and I want someone to share it with me. Eartha Kid, she said that. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is exactly how we teach people how to love us. That is exactly how we teach people how to treat us. We must first fall in love with ourselves and show people how to treat us. Like, I remember one of my cousins, she was like, Alex, you so, you so bougie, you just come up stuck up. And I said, because I have standards, because I have boundaries, like, that's not me being stuck up. That's me caring about myself. That's me respecting myself. I just thought it was so funny that she thought like that because that showed that she liked boundaries and she liked standards. But yes, oh, I love that so much. I might get it printed off and put it in my room. I fall in love with myself and I want someone to share it with me. Like... When you fall in love with yourself and you realize, dang, I'm pretty amazing. Like, I can really understand why someone would love me. Like, that's that's literally where I'm going with myself. Like, sometimes I have, like, hard days, as we all do. Especially when it comes to, like, my body. I have a lot of problems with that. But my personality and stuff, I'm great with that. Like, I know I'm freaking funny. Like, I sit in the room and laugh with myself. I literally tell myself jokes and I kiki. Like, you know? Who would find a problem with that? You know, I know that I'm amazing. I know that's one thing that I could say that I, like I genuinely love about my boyfriend because uh, I just think this is so funny. My ex-husband would be like, Alex, you're not even funny. Like, I don't know why. You basically just need to stop. You're not funny. But my boyfriend, he he's like, Alex, you're hilarious. I think you are the funniest person I've ever met. Like, you are so funny. Like, that is, he told me that is our, his favorite thing that we do together is laugh. Literally. And I'm like, see, I knew it was funny. But first, I had to get all that doubt away from me, that negativity, and step into me. Because I I, I love that about myself. I love that God put that in me is because I like to make people smile. Like, And I will go out of my way to give somebody a compliment. I will find something on someone that I love, even if I'm at Walmart. And I will stop them and I will tell them. Because that can make their day. Because I, y'all, I just be talking. <laughs> Shaughnessy was right. She said, dang, girl, you be talking. I do and do. I remember when I was in sixth grade, Jason Bullner came up to me and she said, Alex, you have the most beautiful smile. And I was like, and I was in sixth grade. And I still remember because that was like one of the first compliments I ever remember getting. And I was like, oh my God. I remember that from there on out that I just like was just smile on purpose. <laughs> but. <laughs> Like, they would tell me they love my laugh, they love my smile, and, um, 
I was like, oh my gosh, I want to start doing that for people. Ever since I was in sixth grade, I would find something I would love on somebody and I would tell them, whether it's their hair, their smile, their eyes, their outfit, their shoe, like something about them, I would say, oh my gosh. Even if it was someone's energy that I noticed that was amazing, I would be like, oh my God, you have such pure, beautiful energy. Like, I just make sure, because you never know, that could be the only compliment that person's gotten in a year. Like, you never know. So it's so important to just extend love. That's why it's so important to love yourself so you have enough love to share with somebody else. Like, and I really believe that. If I'm not filling up my own cup, baby, and baby, you ain't gonna, your cup gonna be definitely gonna be empty. For sure. I remember that me and my boyfriend, we went to, through a very, like, hard season in our relationship because we both were so bit on pleasing each other that we were neglecting ourselves and we both were like no we can't we can't we're not gonna make it like this like we definitely have to fill our own cups and then fill each other's up so some days if i don't have the emotional capacity to talk on the phone i just say hey baby i ain't got the emotional capacity to talk on the phone today or if he had a hard day at work and he just don't have the emotional capacity to deal with my dramatic he said hey i had a hard day at work i don't have the i don't have the capacity today so, and I love that we respect that about each other. And I feel like that is something that is very important. You must first honor yourself. We cannot betray ourselves when it comes to making other people happy. Because in the end, you're the one that's going to suffer. And no one's going to live your life but you. So you have to live your life the best life you can for you becoming the best person for you. And not compare who you should be to somebody else. But compare who you want to be to yourself, you know? So, yes, guys, I've been talking for nine minutes. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now I'm kind of like, I'm thinking, Shot, she like, sick. Girl, you really like to talk? I sure do. I do. I really enjoy to talk. And I really enjoy talking to y'all. Even though y'all don't talk back right now, y'all will eventually respond. And I love that. I love that for me. Um, but I just want to thank all of y'all for your encouraging words that y'all sent me over the past two weeks because I was really going through it. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know my stories and my lives. Like it was just a lot going on with my job and just things that shouldn't have mattered. And they made it a big deal. But here comes Bo. I was actually gay. I wanted to let me know he's going to take a shower. I'll take a shower, buddy. Um, some things that just should have never transpired or happened, happened. And I was treated very, very poorly, but it just is what it is. I'm praying that God bless me in a way that I just don't even have to deal with that no more, if we're being honest. But, yes, I thank all of y'all for your encouraging words and just helping me get through it. Because, you know, life is not always going to be rainbows and sunshine. But guess what? We can make it rainbows and sunshine. Like, even if they treat me bad at work, I don't have to bring that home. Because ain't nobody in my house did nothing to me. You feel me? They haven't. But okay, guys, I'm going to end this here because I will continue to talk. Um, I will post the bookstore vlog on Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to go live on Wednesday. And I hope that you guys are enjoying my content. If there's anything that you guys would like to see, just let me know. Comment down below. And I will be doing a 24-hour reading vlog. I was actually going to do one, but then my kids came home, so... Y'all, I'm a mother I'm a mother first before I can stay up for 24 hours. That's just not going to happen, sweetie. But okay, guys, I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.